What's up guys, Mike G here, and today I really wanna help you guys out. Hey man, you got this? Oh. No, no, not like that. Being that it's April and tax season is in full swing, I thought the timing of this video was perfect. I wanna share five ways that you can instantly save money in 2021. I'm gonna also explain the psychological triggers behind shopping and why it's so addicting, and how you can avoid these traps. This may come as a shocker to you, but the savings rate of the average American is horrifically low. Coupled with the rate of inflation and the devaluation of the US dollar, it's no wonder that the average American is one flat tire away from complete financial ruin. But seriously guys, I know we've all impossibly spent money on things we don't need. At some point in our life and after the fact have said to ourselves, why did I buy this stupid piece of you know that voice in your head that says you're never gonna do that ever again, only to do it again a few weeks later on another item? Well, I'm here to tell you, you're not alone. At the end of the day, I think we can all agree that when it comes down to money choices and the things we spend our money on, we are all our own worst enemy. In fact, I'm sure you can instantly recall a time that you impulsively spent money on, on something only later to regret it and wish that you hadn't done that. For me, it was an item at the grocery store just the other day. Damn, I know I shouldn't buy these. As you can tell, I'm a real sucker for donuts, which is not very good for my waistline. So first up, I would say don't spend the money. I know it's easier said than done and we all need things to live. However, I will bet that half the things that you buy, you don't need. Think of it like this. If you're thinking of buying a product, don't buy it. Just wait a day or two, think it over while you're not at the store. Once you do this, you will most likely not go back to the store realizing that you truly did not need the product. This buy it tomorrow hack should help you save money. Believe it or not, there is a psychology behind purchasing products and the sensation and feeling of well-being that humans get when they buy a product. Studies have shown that there is dopamine released, which brings about a feeling of happiness and well-being. Looking deeper into this, it's been proven that the dopamine rush doesn't actually come from the moment of purchase, but rather from the anticipation of the purchase. So if we follow the science, we can obtain the same feeling by looking at the product and item and not buying it. Next, another way to think about saving money is to ask yourself, how many hours of work will this item cost me if I buy it? Look, we all have a finite amount of time on this earth, and I'm sure most people will want to make the best use of their time from a financial standpoint and a standpoint of personal fulfillment as well. With this in mind, it's important that we spend our money wisely on things that are needed rather than just wanted. For me personally, I only try to buy items that give me long-term value. Another way to save money is to think about things in this way. Think of the item that you want, then think of the cash equivalent of what it costs to buy that item. Which would you rather have at the end of the day, the item or the actual cash in your hand from what the item costs? I think you will find more often than not, you will just want the cash equivalent in your hand rather than the item itself. Because if you think about it, when you decide not to buy the item, you are in a set, an essence, an, an, an essence receiving that cash that you can now save and put away. Another hack that you can do, which makes a difference every time you save money by not buying something, is to transfer the money to a high yield savings account. This is a terrific way to ensure that you are not only keeping the money that you didn't spend, but you are saving it as well. Once you start to see that number in your savings account growing, it will motivate you to keep stacking away money into that account instead of blowing the money on items that you don't need. This next one is a great mental hack. Think of it this way, guys. What is the actual cost of you spending money today versus its future value if you invested that money instead? Money saved grows over time for you, while money spent is gone unless the item you bought has value that you can get back out by selling it. Taking a look at the stock market's historical average rate of returns, will show that adjusted for inflation with dividends reinvested, that $20 that you'll go spend at the store today would be worth upwards to $300 of value in the future on average. So following all these steps is great, but at some point one can only save so much money. If you're not making enough, then you need to focus on bringing in more income. Your focus needs to shift from a defensive mindset to an offensive mindset. And by that, I mean just making more money, whether it's you get a second job, or you learn a new skill, or switch careers, or go back to school 
or collect Pokemon cards. Product, hard to find the product you're looking for, or maybe even- No, that takes money, forget that. I believe that over time, if you implement these strategies and stay consistent with them, you will be able to save a substantial amount of money. Even enough money to make Dave Ramsey happy. How much debt have you got? <laughs> the best part is, is you'll have less junk laying around your house and more money in the bank. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you got some value out of it. Go ahead and pound that like button. It's free and easy, and it helps my channel out. Stay tuned for my next video. This is Mike G. I'll see you on the other side.